today is going to be a challenging day for me. Body, if you put them into... It's going to be a really hard day. My digestion is shit, man. My guts are fucked. My guts are fucking fucked. I, I haven't taken a dump yet today. It's only nine in the morning, but I haven't taken a fucking dump today. And all I ate was fruit yesterday. This is bullshit. Then the day before that, all I ate was fruit and a uh, bowl of sweet potatoes, uh, the soft kind. Any fucking normal human being eating what I eat would not have these digestive problems. I have something wrong with me. I am going to see a gastroenterologist. I can't live like this anymore. I think last night I may have had my last beer. I may never use drugs again. I don't know. I have no idea if if this is just a feeling, but today is gonna be a rough day. I was up till 2 a.m. I got about, well, no, it was more like, uh, three, four, jeez, four, five, six, seven. I think I was up like past 3 a.m. actually, so I got like four hours of sleep. I figure, haven't shit, haven't showered, and, yeah, I got like fucking, I don't know, I mean, I, I shit all the time, I shit a couple times a day, but like the amount of food I eat, I'm not, no, it's not working out, man. It's fucking ridiculous, so, yeah, I, I must have like something literally, like I got like diverticulosis or I got like something literally blocking my colon from when I went to Africa and started eating fish and bones. Fish, whole fucking fish. Just chomp the fish face first, man. Chomp the whole fucking animal. Tasted nasty, but I did it anyway because I thought it was the right thing to do. Chicken bones. Same thing. Fucking thought it was the right thing to do, so I just nommed the chicken bone down as they did over there. That's what they did. I don't know, because they got like food scarcity issues over there or something. I don't know why the fuck they do that. Someone tells them it's healthy, I guess. It sure as fuck ain't. I, I don't know why they're doing that. That's probably why I got an intestinal. So I don't know. My gut may be just fucked, man. I could be like, just fucked. Like, I could be on my way out. And there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm I'm getting a colonoscopy. I can't I can't take this anymore. But the drugs, the 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 caffeine, my you know, my longest held addiction, caffeine. I don't want it today. I don't want it today. I mean I've been sleep deprived all week, yeah. I don't want no fucking drugs. I keep on saying, oh yeah, yeah, you know, like, just this caffeine to get me through today. And, you know, I'm gonna eat proper. And tomorrow I won't have this chronic constipation. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's possible, man. I'm, I might be stuck with this for the rest of my life. I made it, you know, a few mistakes. Just permanent damage. But I'm sick of looking at my eyes in the mirror and I got fucking dark circles under my eyes because I'm abusing my fucking body with caffeine. Fucking. I, I, I'm staying away from weed because if I buy, like, the tiniest bit of weed, that means. Like, if, literally, if my friend gives me, like, two dollars worth of weed, that means I'm smoking weed, like, for the next five days. Because I'm sensitive to it. I don't smoke a lot. So what do I do instead when I need to get to sleep after all of that fucking caffeine abuse? I, I drink a beer or two. <clears throat> I'm 
not doing the drugs, man. I'm not doing it right now. Not today. Not fucking today. I might eat magic mushrooms at some point in the future. I'll, I've, I'll always say that those are kind of interesting. Or, uh, you know, maybe I'll change my opinion on that. I have before, but... They're just interesting. It's an interesting experience. Very fascinating. Mind-bending. But drugs to fucking... If you're using drugs to help you get through life, man... You're either not living the right life... Or... Yeah, you're just not going about life in the right way, man. If you need drugs, might as well just give up. If you need drugs to get through life, forget about it. Just, if you live in America, get a mountain, just, you know, go to the thrift store, get a $25 bike, keep 20 bucks in your bike pockets to pay for, um, emergencies, flat tires, bike repairs. Go to trucks, go to a truck stop, get a bottle of chrome polish, find some rags in a dumpster or something. Make your emergency money polishing trucks. If you live in America, you can do this. You don't have to work. You don't have to do the shitty 9 to 5. I do this because I like it. I, I live my life the way I do because I want to. Because I choose to. And, and it's it's the best life that I can imagine right now. And I'm imagining greater, greater and greater things every day. But if, if this isn't working out for you, if you don't think that this is what you want to do with your life... You don't have to do it if you live in America, like I do. Food is free. Food is free. I could drive, well, I could walk, I don't know, four miles from here, enjoy the walk, and I could get more food than I could eat. More unblemished, perfectly fine, uh, you know, unhealthy obviously because everybody eats unhealthy food in the dumpster and there's produce in in those dumpsters too I could probably find hmm well on my way there there's got to be at least one I know one over there another grocery store so two grocery stores and on the way in between them uh, there's there's got to be hmm Hmm. There's pizza places. There, there must be a, like ten dumpsters with legitimately edible food in them. Just on that walk down the road, four miles to the grocery store. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Don't be a victim. This life is your choice. People don't fucking understand how good they have it, man. It's ridiculous. Now, I've got it pretty good. I've created a sweet life. I've been born into an awesome family. And I've made massive mistakes that I'm probably going to regret for the rest of my life. And I don't want to see people make these, the same mistakes that I have. And I hate seeing people waste their potential. Just not, not caring, thinking this is the best that's out there. If you can digest, like white bread and vegetables and that that stuff doesn't make you sick why the fuck aren't you going out there and doing anything with your life it's ridiculous man people can just just live by the seat of your pants and just follow the adventure I mean you don't have to don't listen to what I'm telling you to do do whatever you want but like, people with better health than me, it, it's it's ridiculous. Like, the the better people's health is, the less they give a fuck about their health. It sucks. I, I want to see a world with more 
like progressive people, man. Just all, you know, the common people are just boring fucks that just want to go and party. You know, drop psychedelics and at, you know, at best. And, uh, that's like their idea of a really exciting, like, interesting life. Just going to, like, music festivals and stuff. Nothing against that. I love, I love partying. I love to party. Who doesn't? But I just, I, I want to see people do something with their lives, man. And I want to see people, I, I want to see change in this world. I want, I want people on board with this. And I'm just blown away that all these smart, intelligent, uh, relatively active people are wasting energy. Um, just not, not trying to make a positive change in the world. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to hate on anybody. I know people have different goals and stuff. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, what I'm working on, it's not tangible at all. It's not tangible at all. I, I, I'm not doing shit with my life either, but, <sighs> I'm not having coffee today, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. So, yep, thanks for watching, uh, I hope this means something to you, don't just quit your job because I told you to, but considered it as an option yeah all right so I'll keep you guys up up updated uploaded blah 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 um, I'll start making a sobriety vlog I guess I don't really <sighs> yeah I've been talking about talking to myself about doing a sobriety vlog I guess I just wasn't ready ready to say it to the camera out loud. <laughs> Here I am at work. Alright, so I'm going to go in there and look up a gastroenterologist and hopefully today's sun, today is Friday, hopefully by Monday I can get this checked out, see what's going on. Who knows, maybe a quick surgery and I won't, God, I could have like pieces of bone like stuck throughout my colon like under skin it could be like extensive surgery it could be yeah I, I it could be just so invasive that I can't even if that's the case I might just give up entirely on trying to make an impact on the world I just don't have the uh the physical ability to really, you know, just to be like a super giving person. I might just go out and see what's out there, you know, see what's out there. And, uh, cause, cause that, either way, I'm gonna die a slow and painful death. Either way, if, if that's the case, if, if, uh, you know, my health turns out to be unfixable. Which it feels like it is. So what, you know, slow and painful death. Working a 9 to 5 job and telling people how to eat healthy while I myself am not fucking healthy at all. I don't know. I don't know. Being, being an unhealthy clinical dietitian just doesn't sound legitimate to me. I gotta think about it. Can I be a clinical dietitian with chronic degenerative disease? Is that a wise life choice?
It's not my my fucking diet. It's not my fucking diet. <laughs> yeah, just eat. Get some meat in you there, boy. Get eat some fucking meat. And uh, you know you'll get the squirts and you'll fucking have a fucking stupid day, you dumb shit. If I had stayed vegetarian instead of thinking I'm all badass, like, eating meat, uh, you know, going back to eating meat, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna eat more paleo and incorporate meat back into my diet. If I hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't be where I am today. I'd probably be doing great, great, great things with my life if I hadn't made that mistake. And that's the God's honest truth. So we'll find out, maybe, yeah, maybe I do have chicken bones in my fucking colon, I'm gonna die. Sure as hell hope not, but, yeah. That's my uh, intended course of action, I don't know, I don't know, I'm taking it day by day, we'll find out soon and I'll keep you guys posted, because I know you all really give a fuck about my colon. Peace.